What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Will, aka Sir William. And for the past five, six years now, I've been overlanding around the United States in Apple, my 2015 Toyota 4Runner. Now, nine times out of ten, I'm camping right here in the back of Apple. I've got a little platform built with a little bed, and I think this is the best tent that you could have. You don't have to worry about any kind of weather, you don't have to worry about any kind of critters or anything like that. It's just a nice, safe tent for the most part. The only downside is is that with the Toyota 4Runner, the only way to open up this back hatch is from the outside. And of course, if you're on the inside, then that proves to be pretty difficult. So today I want to show you guys how I'm going to modify this rear hatch so that I can open it up from the inside. Very simple process. Doesn't take a whole lot of special tools. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and take off this cover. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. It's basically just a bunch of plastic clips here. Be careful. You will break these if you're not careful. And you may even break them being careful. It's just one of those things is going to happen. Don't mind the inside of Apple here. She's quite messy as I'm getting ready to pack up and go on another trip. All right, so like I said, the very first thing we have to do is we have to get this back uh, hatch cover off here. So I'm going to go ahead and pry this down. Just like that. Go ahead and take this handle off here. And you'll need to take that out, which is, looks like it's gonna be a 10 millimeter. All right, now that that's out and all of your clips are loose, you just kind of push up on it. All right, and now that you have this loose, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and unhook your uh, dome lights or your uh, back tailgate lights. Okay, so now that the cover is off and the plastic is off what we're going to do is we're going to try to take this plastic cover off right here and this plastic cover is going to be covering up the hatch itself so go ahead and get this plastic cover off i don't know if i'll be able to get you guys down in there to see but basically that's what we're looking at is that little piece right there and once you get this little plastic piece off here you can see that little lever right there and that little lever is what controls the uh the hatch and it's again it's hard for me to show you guys but basically that little lever is what we're going to be attaching the pool cable to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some paracord here and i'm just going to attach it around that latch now whatever you use is completely up to you I'm going to use paracord and I may dress it up later on, but basically all I'm looking for is just a quick, simple solution. All right, now that I got that on there, I'm going to go ahead and place that cap back on. But before I can do that, I'm going to need to put a hole through that. So before I do that, let's make sure this thing works. All right, so here we are on the inside here. And voila. All right, so now I've got the cap back on. I've got the hole drilled in there. I've got it secured. Now this plastic piece here that I took off, I'm gonna to try to put it back as best as I can. Emphasis on try. Go ahead and hook back up your dome lights. As much as I hate to say it, that'll also help you let the piece just hang there. Now you gotta get it lined up with the inside. There you go. And then it's a matter of just popping those clips back in. Now that's on there. Go ahead and put back down the handle, or put back on the handle rather. This goes right there. Drill the hole through the top. Run your cord through there. Put that guy back on there like such. Get this up out the way here. Boom, baby. All right, well, that's it. So now I've got a quick release. I'm just gonna tie this up into a little, you know, little uh, handle of such, and that's it. 
quick release from the inside of your Toyota 4Runner and this will work on any 5th gen that I know of. So basically it'll work on any vehicle if you can just find that little latch and tie something to it. Man, that's going to make things so much easier camping in the back of Apple here. I wish I would have done this years ago. I hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like it. And until next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And remember, you can be happy if you've a mind to. Peace, y'all.